There's troubling news coming in from Pretty Lake. There have been 36 confirmed deaths since Monday. In this small town, there's a random disease outbreak. Because of this disease, the town is put in quarantine. There has been a frustrating lack of new information. All of the remaining survivors are left trying to figure out where this disease came from and why nobody under the age of 22 has been affected. It's been confirmed that the disease is accelerating. Citizens of Pretty Lake, starting immediately, we are putting Pretty Lake under full quarantine. I'm a huge Netflix fan, and when they told me about this show, I was excited because I could see how character-driven it could really be. We have confirmed reports that no one over 22 is left alive. The show's different because it's kids surviving on their own. Wiley's pregnant, her head's spinning, and she doesn't feel understood. You do realize your water's about to break, right? I'm just gonna continue my career as the minister's fallen daughter. Wiley has a cynicism to her, but she's got a very deep-rooted sensitivity. Will you lie with me? We're all figuring out what we're gonna do next and how we're gonna save ourselves. Listen up! We get everybody over the age of 12 helping with these bodies. These characters all experience this intense loss. It's a little bit of Lord of the Flies taking place. They're forced to be in this situation. And it gets darker and darker as the show progresses. I've been deep inside the government computers, talking about keeping us quarantined for as long as it takes. We have to leave Pretty Lake. Each character has to face their fears and move forward to survive. It's gonna be all right. Do you really think so? Yeah, I have to. The show, it's really genre-defying. It's got romance, and it's got the whole thriller element. I'm not gonna stand here and watch this town fall apart. There's so much in the show that is an adventure from beginning to end. Put your hands in the air! I'm sick of being lied to. Something's wrong. It really has a voice of its own, and to me, that's great television. Did anyone else 